Who's ready for some mystery boxes? And some Chick-fil-A. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Slapshot Pops, and if you caught our duel last week, you would have saw that Joanna actually had to buy me dinner. So I chose and she bought us some Chick-fil-A. So before we get into some mystery boxes today, we're going to start our weekly segment of breaking down some, some food and uh, trying out which is better. So if you guys are new here and you like comics, collectibles, and of course Funko Pops, you've come to the right place. So we hope that we earn your subscription by the end of this video. But first, I'm hungry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got some waffle fries, of course. We have some cup, a couple different sauces. Alright. We got two different types of chicken sandwiches, so we're both going to try them and see which one is better. Let's cut them. Yep. Yeah. They don't have tomatoes, right? No tomatoes. I'm allergic to tomatoes. <laughs> yep. So. Alright, so we got a grilled chicken club and a regular breaded chicken club. So we're going to see which one is better. We're going to do a little taste test. If you guys don't know what Chick-fil-A is, they serve chicken and it's really good. <laughs> I know there's some controversy over the spicy chicken sandwich. We didn't do that one tonight. Just had to wait in line for about an hour. No, I'm just kidding. It was pretty long. It felt like it was an hour, though. All right. Here but it's worth go. it, because Chick-fil-A is Let so me, good. Uh, arrange right. it here. How should I cut it? Like this? Yeah, that's fine. We're going to do some half and half action. Oh, there was some crunch in there. What is that? Bacon? All right, choose your poison. Okay. You want to cut this one? Yeah. I'll take this half. Ooh, there we go. All right, so this is the grilled chicken. I think I'm going to put a little barbecue sauce on here. What's Chick-fil-A sauce? I don't know. They just made some sauce and they called it Chick-fil-A sauce. And of course, some waffle fries. Waffle fries are the best kinds of fries. You're going to start with the grilled? Yeah. All right, so well, I'll start I'll, I'll, with the fried. I'll wait for you. You got one? Yeah, I want to taste. I want to know what the... Chick-fil-A sauce is. Yeah. Why are my fries huge? Do you have a small fry? Yeah, I got smaller fries. I'm All trying right. to taste the sauce without getting a huge fry. I'm going in for the grilled. It's like spicy mustard. Oh, really? But not really, like honey mustard. Alright, so I'm going to go for the breaded chicken. Oh, then I'm going to beat you to it. <laughs> oh, is it good? Which one is that? The oh, there's, breaded. there's pickle on it? It's actually not that bad. Alright. I'm not a pickle fan, but... I'm not a pickle fan. It's actually not bad with the pickle. I know, I just don't like pickles. Neither do I. I know, but it was too late for you. Mmm. <laughs> it's actually really good. I don't think I've oh. ever had the breaded one. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> try, try the grilled one, see what you think. Oh, look at that big piece of bacon. Bacon's the best. So, for our duels, the loser is going to have to buy dinner from, or make dinner, from the person's place or type of food choice wantless from wantless yep and um at the end of each video put down in the comments after we have a winner where you guys think we should eat now we are in the northeast so we're in new jersey to yep. clarify yep so there's certain restaurants that we might not have that you guys have um like i know we have chick-fil-a and a lot of people have been dming us this week and commented on last week's video asking what Chick-fil-A was, so. Or, yeah, like, um, what is a Chick-fil-A? What is a Chick-fil-A? <laughs> um, so. so, if you guys are in New Jersey or 
If you look up that we have the same restaurants, let yeah, us know. Yeah, we're going to try them all. We're going to do it all. We're going to get fat here on Slapshot Pops, and we're going to live life. So what do you think? All right, so what do you think? The breaded or the grilled is better? Um, I think I think the breaded. I like the grilled because of the bacon. We don't oh, do yeah, regular that's true. bacon We don't here. do regular bacon, yeah. We try not to do any type yeah. of bacon or cured meats. We just hate turkey, so we'll eat anything turkey. Turkey, bacon... What else is turkey? Waffles, turkey waffles. We eat anything turkey. I um, actually like the pickle. Yeah? I like the breaded breaded a lot more. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate Chick-fil-A as a restaurant, fast food chain? On what, though? Efficiency, sandwiches, fries? Just overall, over, overall. overall quality of food. Give it a 7 out of 10. 7? All right, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. If you guys have ever had Chick-fil-A before, let us know on a scale, 1 to 10, how do you like Chick-fil-A? So, we're going to finish our food and stay tuned for some mystery boxes. All right, so we're back. We are done eating dinner. That was pretty good. And uh, So, we're standing up. Yeah, <laughs> standing up, trying not to keel over from all the food. That was a lot of food. So, today we have two mystery boxes from Surge Up mystery boxes. Uh, this is our first time ordering from them, so we're pretty excited. We have two $35 grail or fail mystery boxes from them, and the top hit was the $950 glow-in-the-dark unmasked Wolverine, which would be an amazing pop to pull. But before we get into that, we have two boxes. Uh, one of them is actually a gift that I got for Joanna from a recent auction, and then we also got a gift from one of our new amazing amazing friends um parker over at monthly pops so here why don't you open your gift first gifts <laughs> so this pop i actually got from an instagram auction from uh our good friends over at married to a nerd they run instagram auctions all the time uh mostly i see on the weekends like friday saturday sundays um and they just have great quality auctions i really like the way they run it um, they're very fair. They keep track of the lag and everything. So if you're looking for a good Instagram uh, page, a great couple to go get pops from, definitely go check them out. We'll link their Instagram account below in the description of this video. And why don't you show everybody what you got. So Joanna is not a big Star Wars collector. However, I know she really wanted this pop. Oh, that's kind of cute. So they have a little sticker business card it's a business card it's like a photograph paper it says we are nerd land we we buy and sell Funko Pops follow us on Instagram married to a nerd 2133 okay so there is 2,132 other married to a nerds um, <laughs> so that, they had to pick married to a nerd 2133 so that's crazy um, no the 2133 probably means something so they shipped it really well. Bubble wrap and a sorter is always good. When did you buy this? Uh, a couple days ago, oh, so it was pretty fast. Cute. Over the weekend. Oh, oh, nice. Awesome. The child with the frog. From the Mandalorian. That's super cool. I like how it's sideways. Some people actually don't like that it's sideways. Yeah, people get angry over that. Why? Because they can't stack them, or it's a weird No, because you stack them, and he's just hanging like this. Right? No, you stack them like this, and then you can put some sodas on top. Put two oh, sodas sure, on yeah, top. you put sodas. It's kind of funny, but I know how much you like that one. So. Yes, thanks. Really so, shout out to Mary to a Nerd. Thank you for getting us that pop for a really great price, and uh, with a protector, and really fast shipping. So, thank you guys. So to our next package, uh, this is from Parker over at Monthly Pops. If you guys have not heard of Monthly Pops, I don't know what you're doing. You're doing something wrong because Monthly Pops is freaking awesome. Um, he actually made us a code for the website. So if you go to Monthly Pops right now and uh, whatever you want to buy, 10% off using code SLAPSHOT, which we also link below. And he sent us over um, a little gift. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so uh, this is from a line that we are almost done collecting, but uh, I told him that we were looking for this pop, and I had every intention of buying it from him, but he was nice enough to send it over because he's just that amazing. Of a guy. Oh, nice. Nice. So we are almost done with our Marvel 
Blacklight series. We're a little slow on getting them. I know a lot of people already have them, but this is the Doctor Strange, and man, this is really cool. That's because they were trillions of dollars. Yeah, they, they were they too just much. Weren't they were too attainable. much. Yeah. And he also threw in his monthly pop sticker. I really like his design. It's very simple, it's, even though it's just a box with a black background. Um, I think he did a great job. Uh, Monthly Pops has been doing a lot of stuff lately. They've had some Mega Grail mystery boxes. Um, now he's doing whatnot auctions. So he's he's making moves. So if you want to go check out Monthly Pops, now is a great time. So not bad, right? I, re I told you, Doctor Strange is my favorite one because yeah. I feel like he has... So now we have four out coolest. of five. Yeah. They did a good job. I'm yeah. really excited for the DC ones. I think ones. They, they did a good job on all of them. I feel mm -hmm. like they didn't cheap out on any of them because... Everybody has a little bit of detail, so yeah. that's an awesome pop. Even though it's very similar molds to what they've done in the past, the coloring and the box art well, is how really many, cool. Well, how many times do they redo the molds and it the pop just yeah. comes out lamer that's and true. lamer? That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, but. pretty excited. Thank you. We Monthly pops and married to a nerd. Go check them out. All right, so mystery box time. So there's a lot on the line. So if you win, where do you want to eat? next uh, week. I think if I win, we're getting tacos, but like authentic tacos. Uh, I think if I win, I think I'm, I'm feeling like a really good burger somewhere. A burger. A good burger, so. Where is there a bur good burger? I don't know, but you'll have to let me know when you go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's one nothing, because I won last week, so I think you should go first and see what pop you got. Oh, God. Can I cheat and look? Oh, it's in a sorter. God, you can't even cheat now. <laughs> All right. It's upside down. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, I think I'm going to have to air it out from the top. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, our favorite. Oh, and a Chalice Collectible, uh, no chalice less. These are our favorite. Yeah. We love collecting Chalice Collectibles. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Yeah. Or that's, that's not even Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it's Pokemon. <laughs> that's Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know what does Dragon Ball see like. What do they say? Like I don't know. They do that. Catch him! No, that's like comic. Uh, I don't know. Right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my I God, my nails match it. his hair, so he can stay for like maybe until the end of the video. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got. All right, so mine's in bubble. But rock. at least he's not a Vegeta or like he's a kale. Isn't that the fruit, the vegetable you're supposed to eat all the time? Kale. Maybe that's why he's green. All right, so... Not into anime. Let me Sorry, see. guys. Oh! Why do I even play with you? <laughs> I think this is good. I think this is this is not bad. So this is the Fred Flintstone. You rig all the boxes. Yes. Because you I, gave I, I me this it. box. Yes. Okay. You clearly opened the box. You knew what was but going it, on. Oh, okay. So I thought he was damaged. The protector is damaged. So he's okay. So this is Fred Flintstone, <laughs> Funko Shop exclusive with the hat. Now... I don't know. Some of the Fred Flintstone pops are getting up there, so. I hope it, it's not up there. I hope it's. <laughs> I know it's not like the super. Did you guys re-release it? Somebody should re-release it. <laughs> All right, so let's quick check values, and we'll get back to you. So we are back, checking values. It was quick, because we only had two pops. So what did yours come in at? Mine came at $13, guys. $13. I'm sorry. But we kind of we kind of knew, with the chalice sticker. Yeah. Yeah. The second you, you get a chalice sticker, you know your, your pop is... $20. It's doomed. Yeah. It's doomed. That's what it is. So my pop, which we kind of figured was worth something, is going for $60 dollars right now the fred flintstone with the hat going for 60 bucks so it looks like i just won two weeks in a row so if anybody has any recommendations for a good burger place let us know in the comments because i think that's what we're eating next week although tacos does sound good and when i win which will probably be never we will <laughs> finally have the tacos no no i mean it's completely random <laughs> I didn't weigh it's the boxes. completely random. I didn't weigh the boxes before. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we had a lot of fun eating a little little dinner and uh, opened up some boxes. Um, 
So definitely check out Monthly Pops and Married to a Nerd, both awesome people, um, definitely worthy of our recommendation. We don't recommend everyone because we really believe that you have to stand out in order to earn our recommendation. We're not just going to send you anywhere um, because we've had to do business with these people to really get their their value out of them so anyway we hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please leave a huge thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more of our epic mystery box battles then uh, come hang out with us every Friday at 9 30 a.m. Eastern and if you really want to get in on the action and get a personalized mystery box every month check out our patreon the link is down below we are sending some epic mystery boxes out to our fans and our inner circle slapshots family every single month so get in on that and uh remember guys what do we always say don't stop shooting until you score we'll see you in the next video